Alrighty, we are here at the next level games. Game Star here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm super excited because this is actually one of my good friends' uh, game store. So we have Rick Mitchell, he is the store owner. And I am super excited to check it out. Hello, fam. Why is there a picture of Chetan on the door? Because <laughs> Anthony is obviously hilarious. He He's is, cracking himself up. He is obviously not hilarious. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Chetan. Hi, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, there's a Bodo. Hi Bodo. Hello. You look. catch me buying some cards. Oh, is this the stuff that you're interested in? Yes, it's uh, two dollars a copy, and I think that's a pretty good price. That is a pretty good price for those beautiful cards. Look yes, at them. For sure. I mean, this one is even good. It is good. <laughs> Hi Rick. Hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. Hello, hello. How are you? Good. Good. Hi, Rick. <laughs> hey, Rick. It's Marcus. Marcus. My name is Rick Mitchell. I am the owner of The Next Level Games in Madison, Tennessee, right outside of Nashville. I uh, own the game store for about two years now. Ran tournaments there for about 10 years before that. Been involved with Pokemon for about a dozen years. Um, started off as a league leader. Made my way all the way up to head judge and juniors at Worlds this year. Awesome. So uh, you answered most of the questions I was going to ask you. <laughs> um, so what kind of, do you just do Pokemon here? What kind of games do you actually do in the store? Um, Next Level Games is more of an event space. Right? Okay. We have a little bit of retail section. Um, not a lot of up and down, walking up and down the aisles, buying stuff. It's more of an event space. It has been as long as I've been coming here. We have uh, Pokemon tournaments, Magic tournaments, Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. We're actually one of the 13 or 14 locations that hosts the Magic Regional Pro Tour qualifiers. Very proud of that fact. We've got a couple more coming up in the future as well. We have other Occasional games, Dragon Ball Super, have a little bit of a stint here. One of my favorite games right now is DC Deck Building. We do a, a competitive cube environment as well. But much more of an event space than we are a retail space. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, try not to be biased or anything. What is, which game is your favorite game, do you, would you say? Out of the games that you... It's obviously Pokemon. Uh-huh, okay. My favorite to play right now is DC Deck Building. But it's it's just a lot of fun. Right, right, cool. I, I know how to play Magic. Uh huh. I'm I'm decent at Magic. Never learned how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Actually played Dragon Ball Super. Liked it a lot. Liked its uh, game mechanics. I thought it was an interesting game mechanic. But uh, yeah, Pokemon is still holds the special place in my heart. We we have had people attempt to sell fakes before, but my favorite. <laughs> is someone bringing in the old base set stuff and wanting to get $800 for the, the Toto Dial or whatever they see on YouTube. Oh yeah. That, 
it's always fun when we get to explain to them that all that YouTube stuff is crap. This guy. Yeah. Well, all the YouTube videos on pricing of video, other uh, pricing of Pokemon cards yeah, exactly. tend to be crazy unless you go to actual like uh, competitive channels or uh, like Darian's sure. Pokemon or sure. Prof Mikey that where they were actually trusted sources to tell you. Exactly. But so, somebody I recall one situation, somebody brought in a card and they said, Oh yeah, we saw this card. It's it's like a hundred dollar card and I, I showed them I had seven of them. It's like very cool. Right. Yeah, right. They're not rare. They're not rare. Yeah, those Buzz BuzzFeed bit videos, the uh, Verge videos, all those videos are not real videos about Pokemon cards. How Don't much trust your them. old Pokemon cards are worth. Yeah, no. not a thing. Um, so, uh, what has been the largest Pokemon event you've held here? Um, we, Anthony is here. Uh huh. We actually had a competition at the beginning of last year where Anthony was one of the first people to have a League Cup over 100 players. Uh huh. Nearing the beginning of our tournament, we had 99 players show up. We had a pair of twins come in, and it made 101. And we had one person join the tournament late, or two people late. So we had 103 people in a League Cup in here, barely beating out Anthony's largest event. So for a while, we had held the largest League Cup in the world. That is awesome. That is actually really, really cool. Um, and you said you host Pokemon Leagues, too. We were talking we about that before, off camera. Yep. When are your Pokemon Leagues? Uh, Pokemon League, traditionally on Sunday from 1 to 4. We also have some stuff on Saturday. We've got a Wednesday night draft. We've got a Thursday night standard tournament. Um, we'll, we'll do some uh, cube deck building. So, uh, four times a week, i say. Awesome, awesome. That is cool. That. Um, well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we are going to... Uh, I, I feel like I should challenge you in a pack battle. What do you think? Uh, I think we need to do two pack battles. Okay. One the way you do it, one the way I do it. All right, that sounds good. So let's do this. Looks good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a pack battle. We're going to actually do two. Um, Rick has a way of doing pack battles, and then I'm going to show him the way that I do pack battles. So let's start off with the Rick's way. So this is something that I'll usually do in an event that has a lot of juniors. Uh, I'll do a pack battle with a junior. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select certain characteristics about a Pokemon card. Yep, we gotta turn it over. Uh-oh, a white code. Right? I might already be in the lead, look at that. Goodness gracious. All right, so we'll take the codes out. Your code is better than my code. Now. So are we just, are, are we shuffle up we're shuffling slightly. up? Yep. Okay. All right, so whoever wins gets the two cards. So okay. Let, let's find the uh, lowest set number. And so the person who has the most cards at the end are the winner? What usually happens is that the junior gets all the cards anyway. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so lowest set number. Lowest set number. I am Wimser at 117. I am at 104. You are the winner. Have a big on, yes. Let's do the lightest Pokemon. The lightest? All right. I have an energy. I am the winner. What, what's the, there it is, 61.7 pounds. For that Sneasel. All right. The heaviest Pokemon. Heaviest Pokemon. Uh, I'm sure it's not Shuppet. I, I have a hiker though, so right. it's that Shuppet. That Shuppet, look at that. Boom. <laughs> All right, let's do the one with the most letters in its name of the card. I have Lower Ball. Energy, any, yeah. Lower Ball's mine, yeah. All right, let's do with the least amount of numbers or the letters in the name. Okay, Malau. Oh, I got that. And I, I have winner. Onyx, oh, I have Onyx, <laughs> yeah. And none of us have our rares yet, right? Huh? No. So our rares are still some trying to come out. So the most energy cost in all attacks okay. added up. All right, at four, mine. Got it. Corey, give us one. Pokemon, one a Pokemon card stat. Um, most hit points. Most hit points? 
All right, think of another one, Corey. Weeping Bell. And Bell Sprout. Got it. Most blue. Huh? The most blue. The, the most, most blue? blue in the card. In, in like the picture art. The most okay. blue in the picture art. I the most will say Bamfy. Yeah. All right. All right. The least amount of energy in all the attacks. Our choreo and your uh, me, because I have no hit points. I mean, no energy I'll, I'll cost. I'll give it. I'll give it. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to uh, set highest set number. Highest set number. One one five. I have forty six. I got the Kyogre. Yes, you did. All right. Last one. What do you think, Corey? Is it the synergy card? No, no. We, no, we, we shuffled. shuffled. Oh. Oh. Um. Let's do heaviest Pokemon again. Heaviest? I like heaviest Pokemon. No, no, we'll do the shortest. Shortest? Shortest. All right. Yeah, it's got a height. All right, my Chin Chow is 20, oh wait, it's one foot and 80 inches. Whimsor, I had no idea it was this tall. Two feet tall. What? That is a tall Pokemon. So we just make up little odd things about the Pokemon. All right, let's just count to see who the winner is, just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Your boy think, Mikey think... is the winner. <laughs> As is the fashion. Well, you thank you. Anyway. Thank you so much. And now let's show you my way. All right. All right. So what you're gonna do? Take your code out. And you're going to do three. One, two, three. Take the energy out. And then take these two cards. Yep. And put them on the back. Got it. All right. And then basically I'm going to explain to you guys too on the camera. We're going to flip from the bottom. Mm -hmm. From the bottom up. And then we're going to lay it down. And so... When you flip a card, you're gonna count the energy tag, the energy, complete energy cost. All right? Mm -hmm. And so the first one is just automatically gonna lay it down. And then I have to beat that number. Okay. All right? And so eventually there's gonna be a stack up here of twos, threes, and so you'll just count. You have to, so if I have two Pokemon that have two energy costs, you yep. need at least two Pokemon to beat me. That two energy costs. Okay. All right? So I'll start. And I have a Mudkip with three. Mudkip with three. All right, can you beat that? All right, you have a one. So now you have one, so you need to flip again until you beat my three. Okay, let's do it this way so we can see. All right. This one, this one's big, it feels heavy. All right, you have another one. You have two ones, so you need to still go for my three. You have another one, oh my gosh. So are, are we you, even now? No, no. You have that one uh, Pokemon with a three cost. Okay, so one card beats this. Yeah. Card. All right, so you have a two. Yeah. All right. So you have a two, and then you have three ones. I'm still going. You're still going. You have another one. This is sad for you. Mikey is whooping you. All right, you there got a four. Go. All right, so, so what I need is I need... Um, I need a four, at least a four to beat you, right. okay? So let's do this I don't from the bottom. That, I don't think there's a Pokemon out there with more than four. I think I'm automatically win. No, Wellmer. Wellmer has a four. He has six. All right, so I have a two and a three. I have a one. And I have a three. Come on. I have a three. Make sure I don't go off camera. I have a one. I have a three. I have a zero. That's not good for me. I have a, another zero. And my last card. This is the big one. I have a four. Okay, so I got you. All right, so now you have to get a four, at least a four. And then you have to get, so you have to beat, you need to beat me with a four or higher. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to have enough to get the threes. So let's see how it goes. Flip. Alright, so the copycat doesn't work. That's a zero. 
All right, there's a four, and you beat me. I have two fours. So you actually just decimated me because you have two fours. There you go. So as, as it should be. Oh. <laughs> so let's just flip. Another oh my four. gosh, another four. And this last one. Is this the uh, rare? It's a, no, this is the reverse hollow. Uh, okay. All right. Trying to punch. So it looks. It's actually really cool. We. I won one. I won yours, and you won mine. So that is very, very interesting. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm going to do a little bit more uh, clips of the store. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh my gosh. Do you see how big this Pikachu is? I can't handle it. He is gigantic. Yeah, I can't even fit him in here. It's crazy. Like I said, this is Rick's shop, so super, super awesome. But uh, yeah, this is what I want to see. This is my pride and joy. This is so cool. And I'm, I'm missing a few here or there. I might be able to, if you want to actually complete it, I might have some for you. Yeah. All staff. Do you see? I This is the one I gotta see. Let's let's check it out. Let's check it out. That is so awesome. Look at that. That took her a long time to do. That is crazy. Actually, I spoke to uh, Chris Brown, Dave Schwimmer. I, would, I wanted to take it to World uh -huh. and have it displayed somewhere prominently. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can't make Pokemon and stuff. So they're right. like, uh, no. Right. That is so awesome. Look, I have to get real close. You see that that's not actually a print. That is crazy. That is so talented. She is really talented and very patient.